Hey, what's up? Um, I am going to be unboxing this in a second. Um, I actually, there's like two unboxing videos on YouTube at the moment, and I started watching one, but then I decided to stop and unbox it because I didn't want to ruin the surprise for me, so I just got back from the store. Um, it cost 350 Australian dollars, that's how much this game cost in Australia. So anybody who's whining about the price anywhere else, keep that in mind. Um, and we can't get the guitars yet. But um, yeah, Beatles Rock Band, let's do it. I really, really, you have no idea how much I want to put some Beatles music on this video, but it'll get taken down if I do, so there's going to be no music. Um, and yeah. Okay, so um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. In case you couldn't guess, I'm using my IMAX built-in eyesight, so there's like a fixed camera position, so I'm going to go like this, it'll be easiest. Okay. Ready? There it is. Shit. Yeah, sorry I can't get any closer. Um. Alright. Uh, drums kind of got some like fake wood grain thing over here going on but the pads are like white but other than that they seem to be and um, they've got the symbol expansion ports as well um, so I don't know if they've actually improved the drums from Rock Band 2 but um, we didn't get Rock Band 2 in Australia, so not even the game. Like, it, the game, the disc got released in Europe, but in Australia we didn't get it at all. So, one of the main reasons I wanted to get this really badly was because my old drums are broken as shit, so yeah. <coughs> Alright, um, what else is in here? The replica Hofner violin bass that Paul McCartney played for the majority of his career with the Beatles. Um, I'm gonna try and put the headstock on. Yeah, it's uh, thankfully easier than the original rock band guitar. Everyone knows that was really hard, particularly hard to put on. So, yeah, um, of course, if I want to be like Paul McCartney, I'd play it this way. But, um, yeah, I'm right-handed, so. It's actually really nice. It's got some really nice... I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's got some, like, pearlescent um, finish to this pickguard. Not that you actually need a pickguard on a plastic guitar, but it's really nice. The so pickup selector is here. And this looks like the Xbox button, guide button here, and the sync button. Um... Yeah, I mean, all this silver stuff is plastic, but it, it feels really nice. And, like, it's got this fake wood grain finish on the neck. You can see on the headstock the name. All the strap buttons here. Yeah, so I'll put that aside. Microphone. I think it's just the regular rock band mic. Um, it looks the same as, as this one. So... But that's still fine, I mean, mine's still work. I actually had to, I had to return Rock Band twice because of instrument difficulties, so I have three mics. And I've got my 360 headset, so I'm all set for the whole um, harmony thing. <coughs> um, got, oh, this is sweet. This is what I wanted. A metal foot pedal. Thank God. I mean, seriously. How many have I cracked? Like, because I play expert drums and 
It's like ridiculous. Those plastic ones are just made to break. This is nice of uh, harmonics. I can say not activation. Six batteries in this canister. Are you here? Yeah, I'm making a video. <laughs> and that's my grandmother. Packed a lot nicer than the original rock band. This appears to be the game, and I don't know what that is. Some pictures or something. There we go. Um, so here's the game. I'll open that in a sec. I just want to see what this is. That they're postcards. It's kind of cool. Um, Beatles for sale. This is kind of sweet. I'm gonna put them up on that cupboard door behind me. <laughs> um, that'd be rude. Uh, cool. Um, yeah, I'll open the game. This is the beloved uh, plastic crackling sound that everybody loves in unboxing videos. There it is. Alright, so inside you've got the game disc, an instruction manual. That, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the thing. Uh, today, in case anybody didn't know, they also released uh, new remastered editions of uh, all the Beatles albums, which is a big thing because they haven't been remastered since they were originally released on CD in like the 80s or 70s or whatever it was. Um, and a little thing for other Beatles rock band stuff you can get. Beatles Love, I have that album. I have all the Beatles albums, but I also have that. And the manual, which is in black and white and not very interesting. I don't really care about it. So, yeah. Okay, in case you can't tell, this is really freaking hard to get out of the packaging. So there's the huge inlay. Um, this is like all the drum stuff, drumsticks, and you get the rods to build it, and yeah. It's good, it's my favorite part. I love the drums. Well, the drums are my favorite instrument. And, oh, I think this is actually a microphone stand. I heard that it came with a microphone stand, and it feels heavy and not like just cardboard, so I think it's a mic stand. This is the instruction manual to build all your plastic instrument crap. And this is, I was wondering how they're going to do this. I think this is the the uh, drum head cover, like the bass drum head cover. Since there is no bass drum, I was thinking about this. Okay, I think these are clips for it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it feels like a tent thing. Um, and I guess you clip this onto the front of your drums if you want it to look like you, uh, you've crumpled up your bass drum. <laughs> um, and that's it. That's Empty Box. I'm going to be playing this all night, so, um, yeah. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching, and, uh, subscribe if you like. I know this is my first video in, like, a year, but, um, yeah, um, I promise there'll be more in the future. Alright. See you later.